Howdy folks, I'm the Roleplay Gamer and I like to party. Spoiler alert, today I'm going to show you a, a win of my own, uh, ranked 1v1 multiplayer. Uh, but I'm not proud of this victory and you will find out why as the game commences. So, a uh, little bit of history, I I played a couple of matches uh, against this guy, fairly, fairly high on the leaderboard, uh, two in a row. Uh, they were randoming, which really, really rubbed in the loss real bad, really salted the wound. Uh, and they just beat me in under five minutes, probably even even less, like under four minutes uh, in one of those matches at least. Uh, first with, with Goo, and then with my own beloved beta. I, I was destroyed by my own beta. It, it just, it wasn't a good feeling. So I, I kind of... Not quite broke down, but I was like, come on, man, you gotta, you gotta give me something. What are you doing? Because you're winning so goddamn fast. You're winning uh, effectively by the time my first factory is up. It was just ridiculous. Uh, they didn't give me much, <laughs> which I suppose is to be expected. It wasn't really that helpful. But I think I, for the most part, deciphered uh, their strategy. And it's just basically rushing a whole bunch of factories in order to get uh, commandos or, you know, just whatever, starting units out as quickly as as possible uh, and just using the little bit of resources you you start off with uh, as best you can so let's have a look at, at what's in front of us right here I'm against a, a human player uh, who has started with double refinery this is a strategy that I have seen uh, quite a lot with human players in ranked 1v1 it seems to be very popular uh, I know that uh, the, the guy topping the leaderboard, Bike Rush, who favors human, also favors this double refinery strategy. So it is clearly not without merit, despite uh, what, some, what some players may think and what they may preach. It does work. I think it's just a matter of, I don't know, maybe it's a matter of the micro with your scout unit. Then again, I don't know. <laughs> I really got to look at more replays to uh, to sort that out. So double refinery, which leads to double factory. Meanwhile, I've already got my double factory up with a single refinery. Um, but it's just enough resources to be constantly pumping out uh, commandos from two factories. Now, the problem here, and this is where I sort of fall down. This is great. I can get commandos out right quick. Uh, but after that, it's like, well when do I build my second refinery? Because it doesn't matter what I do, it's going to store my resources. There's just no two ways about it. Uh, so that's something I've got to figure out. This time it worked for me. Um, so basically what's going to happen here is I'm going to, I'm going to pump out a metric shed load of, of commandos and try and stifle my opponent's uh, expansion, you know, basically, uh, they've got uh, two refineries up, and I think that is it. They never get any more than that, just because I've got them surrounded. So I've got uh, four commandos coming in um, behind the refinery. This is a strategy I like to try and get the refinery between uh, between me and the enemy. That way, I, I can't be flanked. I can't be surprised. And I've got a commando over here just to make sure they don't expand out. I'm trying to, you know, I'm, I'm blocking off all, all roads. So at the very least, while I might not be able to stop expansion, I will be informed when it happens. So as you can see, I'm still rocking uh, two factories and one refinery. At this point, I think I'm, I'm expending most of my personal energy on micro. Now it's nothing fancy. I'm just moving my units around and trying not to get killed. Uh, so clearly I've, I've figured that that's a bust because that's uh, directly defended, though I could have taken out those those revolvers, especially with this one uh, so damaged. But I've decided to, to come up here and try and be a little bit tricky and get the hide advantage and take out this extr extractor. Now unfortunately commandos don't do that much damage. I feel like commandos are generally less effective against um, uh, a human faction as opposed to the Goo. Commandos, a handful of commandos can do a lot of damage to a mother Goo, uh, but as you can see, it's pretty slow going taking out this extractor. Ideally, I'd want um, at least one or two uh, stalkers as well. That's what they're called, right? Stalkers? I completely lost the plot. Anyway, as you can see, still no expansion for me, and this is wild. This is completely... Uh, out of character for me. This feels weird, and this is why I wasn't necessarily proud of this victory, because it's, it is a bit of a rush victory, um, a bit of a rush strategy, rather. You know, just sending those commanders, commando rush, basically. It doesn't feel good. 
Um, <laughs> I will admit, as you can see, I've just got way too many commandos. Even though they don't do that much damage, there's they're just too many to to deal with with a few revolvers here. Uh, two refineries, three factories. So, you know, at this point, you'd think, well, hold on. You've got one refinery and two factories. How is your production? How are you out producing two refineries and three factories? You know, it still doesn't make sense to me. <laughs> now, I do think I'll have to have a look at this. This is don't quote me on this. This does feel like a it's just a hunch, but I kind of feel like the beta build a little bit faster. So as you can see, I am massing up my commandos here. I'm not um, sort of trickling them out. I want to attack on mass because I'm starting to see, yeah, these commandos are not are not that strong. And they do get taken out fairly quickly. The only reason I'm, uh, I'm doing well here is because I've got overwhelming numbers. And I, I don't think I've even got enough damage to, to take it out through its, uh, through its repair there. Now repair is an interesting uh, is an interesting topic I find. I don't see it used very often in high level play, so I'm I'm kind of wondering is the general consensus that it's not even worth um, repairing structures. I'm I'm thinking that might be the case. Uh, so uh, you might not see it here, but what I will do eventually I'm going to to prop these these commandos right here, uh, not in in range of any structures. Uh, so I figure. I'm having trouble taking out the extractor, so what's the next best thing? Plot myself between the extractor and the refinery and just try and take out the harvesters. It does the same thing. It denies uh, denies my opponent resources. It's a beautiful thing. So finally, I expand. Finally, I've got a, a second refinery up here. My resources are severely sold at minus 56. Uh, meanwhile, I've got a small hub and a third factory closer to the front here. Because I'm, I'm really, at this point, I remember feeling, alright, yes, I've got the advantage in terms of unit numbers, but they're really weak units and they're not enough to take out the base. At this point, like, at this point, if I were the human, the human player here, I'd be like, that's it, I've lost, but it's going to take a long time for me to lose. This is just a really, it's really annoying. I hate, I hate trying to defend against this strategy because that's what it is. It's annoying and this is partly what made me feel bad about winning in this way. And maybe that's just, maybe that's stupid, you know. It's in a competitive environment you should you should win at all costs, right? But <laughs> I like to win with a little bit of honor and a little bit of creativity. Um, unfortunately, not in this case. So I'm just uh, loading up on the commanders. I don't, think, I don't think I built a single thing other than commanders and that's might not have been necessary. Uh, while commandos build faster and with less resources, um, I probably could have won quicker if I threw in a couple of um, a couple of stalkers in there as well. Now I know I'm, I'm I know I'm mixing that up. I know why. I usually <laughs> I know I know what they what they call. I just uh, I'm having a weird day. Stalkers, you know the two-legged things. Um, <laughs> Anyway, so another hub here, uh, a tank attachment with a factory, just to try and get a little bit more damage uh, out here, but it's not really necessary at this point. I've got the numbers. Uh, like I said, it's just a really annoying victory, and at this point, it's it's not so much a matter of me... Like, I wouldn't say I've won, I've just stopped... I've stopped my opponent from winning. It's, it's sort of a, a battle of attrition, if that's the right term. It's like... Well, I'm, I'm going to I'm going to use my mosquito strats to just annoy you so much that it's like, well, I can't do anything, you know. It's it's almost like a stalemate in my favor. It's a really obnoxious way to win. It's really bad. So as you can see, like I said, I was propping myself between the the um, the refinery and the uh, and whatever the fuck that's called. So <laughs> <laughs> my vein drain just lost it today. Uh, so I could intercept any harvesters going between. And this is it. This is the, the cleanup phase, pretty much. They can't build anything. They're probably well overproducing. Yeah, four factories uh, trying, to, uh, trying to run off one refinery. It's just not going to work for them. There are no other refineries anywhere else on the map. No expansion whatsoever. I'm just... I've got, I've got a ridiculous swarm of commandos. How can you fight that? Now, that being said, this is not... Uh, invincible strategy. I've been I've been continuing to use this um, 
and I've been unsuccessful. <laughs> so you can definitely defend against it. There's, um, there's no doubt about that. I think it's just a matter of sort of using itself against itself, if that makes sense. And also, like I said, it's, it's just commandos. I really should be mixing up the unit variety there. Uh, th it's sort of lucky. I'm lucky that this even worked. Uh, but yes, this is a very shameful victory. I don't feel good about it at all. Kids, do not try this at home. <laughs> Win with dignity. Do not, uh, do, do what I say, what, not what I do. Do as I say, you know what I mean. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Make sure you like, subscribe, and comment, and check out my music at ricardoestarted.com. Link in the description as always. Be excellent to each other, and I'll see you next time. Roleplay Gamer, out.